Can you uh, uh, talk about the box? Oh, yeah, let me see. Thank you, you very you, much. You, brought, you came in with this box. Yeah, yeah. Lots of things in here. <laughs> I'll put that down for now. First of all, there's, there's a printer in this town of Los Gatos that makes these pads for me. Pads of two dollar bills. Are they you still real? Still smell the ink. Yeah, you can still smell the ink. They're freshly printed. They're not and, real, are they? Well, hold on. He gets the supplies from a higher quality printer, and they meet the specs of the U.S. government. These <laughs> bills, and because they meet the specs of the U.S. government, I've looked it up. They are legal tender. Wow. I've been spending them for like thirty years, and um, I mean, I don't know if it's the right president. <laughs> You've been spending them for thirty years. Don't want to get ink on me, but um, no, it's great. And I sell a sheet of four two dollar bills for five dollars everywhere i go i sell lots of them and because it don't cost me eight dollars for a sheet and they're legal the secret service has approved them i've had the police called on me a number of times the secret service approved these bills three <laughs> times two of the times they actually saw the bills i don't know why it's only two of the times and one time they read me my miranda rights and when they read me my miranda rights i should have brought it with me i used um, a fake id that i made from back when a personal computer could not print a photo could not print photo quality unless you owned a real expensive dye sublimation printer to make backstage passes and all. So I have this, I have this, the um, ID that I gave the Secret Service says Department of Defense, but I re-spelled it defiant so I could say it's a joke, <coughs> not, a, not, a, not a fraud card. And it says I'm a laser safety officer and I have an eye patch in the picture. <laughs> laser safety officer. That's what I gave the Secret Service when they, they knew these bills were good. They tested them with the pen, they'll pass the test. So you'll probably want these. I know Steve has them, but I'll leave a few sheets here. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, look Thank at you. Cool. And if you look at the serial number of this top one here, it ends, you know, two six five. I did. It couldn't two, be six, more legit. Two six five, two six five. Um, but they're the legal tender. The Secret Service is in charge of counterfeit money. Can I see one? Unreal. Who can I show this on camera? Wow. Of course you I can. I mean, smell it. Everything I said is true, except the president. I know it is the right president. Um, Man, it's, ama it's amazing. Now, well. Yeah, looks great. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Unreal. My Game Boy. My Game Boy. <laughs> now, they never sold this model in the United States. It's from the original, original Game Boys with the original, original Tetris cartridge. And this Game Boy lights up. It actually lights up. It was only sold in Japan. It was called Game Boy Light. And I still play Tetris on it regularly to just pass time when I want to. And one time, I used to have always have the high score on Game Boy Tetris, and I'd send it into Nintendo Power Magazine back when you had to take real photos and send them in the paper mail. And they said, oh, we, your name's always in there. We want you, we, we don't want to print it anymore. We're not going to print your name anymore because we want new people to get on the list. <laughs> oh, so I, 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 did, I took a picture of a high score, and I spelled my name Steve backwards is Evitz. And Wozniak backwards is Kane Zhao. Evitz Kane Zhao. And then I thought, if I put Los Gatos, they'll get suspicious it's the same guy. So I put Saratoga, California, the next city over, and I sent it in, and then I forgot about it. And I picked up this Nintendo Power magazine um, one day, and I flipped back to where they have the scores. And it's in here, but it prints that name, Evitz Kainzow. And I saw it. I didn't know it was mine. I'd forgotten I'd done it. And I said, oh, my God, a foreigner. And he said, Saratoga, I got chilled. He's nearby. <laughs> and then and then I remember doing it. But my, so my name backwards is actually in that magazine. So you're still ranked for your Tetris score? Yes. Wow. Well, it was it was the highest that was ever printed in Nintendo Power magazine. I don't play it anymore. Well, There's people what was so the much better score? than me, I'm sure. I don't know. Um, the highest one I ever got, I didn't send into them. It was in later years. I think it was 630,000, something like that. And my goal was 750. But never, I'll never hit it. Now this is a great mask, of course, because everywhere I go, this is the number one mask. Everyone says, oh, I like your mask, I like your mask. You know, they never do that every it's single so place you go. So on airplanes, I'd like to put this N95 over it, and then I'll, I'll <laughs> it's a little tight. I'll call a flight attendant and I'll say, I want to inform you that for the rest of this flight, I'm gonna take this mask off. <laughs> and and at first they're shocked and, God, accusing me, you know, and then they laugh. <laughs> so laughter, laughter is really worth it, you know. Now I used to go into Janet and I for quite a while wore uh, this type of face mask, 
hang on, it might be trapped. This type of face mask with a HEPA filter that you could wear you could wear on the lanyard. That's great. So you'd wear it, you'd wear it, and you can turn it on to three blowing levels. Okay, yeah. so sometimes when we're going to the cigarette smoke or something, ja Janice Asthmetic, this is a nice way to get fresh air, mm -hmm. fresh air through a through a fan that's in here. And that, when I go into the stores, like the grocery store, um, I would tell people a normal mask isn't adequate for my condition. And they say, "What's your condition?" I'd say, "Geekiness." <laughs> 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 this this mask I've worn a couple of times during the mask days with something under it and I love this mask. <laughs> but, wow. It's also for geekiness. Now I we got another type of HEPA mask, HEPA uh -huh. filter mask, right here that just goes on you. And it's also uh, yeah, a HEPA I filter. I bought those. Yeah, it's smaller and and you got buttons for the, like a the, bane from Batman. Now that one. during the the Black Lives Matter protest, I thought if I ever heard of a protest around here, I might want to get in it. So I actually bought a real gas mask too. But I never used this in public to say this is my <laughs> this is my mask. But I could. <laughs> <laughs> that takes care of my box. Wow, that's so great. Yeah, that's fantastic. Can I brought today. Steve, Steve and I always joke about with the time we got dinner and uh, they came over with the pepper and he said, "Course." And then when they're oh. done, you said, fine. <laughs> I think about that once a week. That's amazing, because just last night, we went out to dinner with, I don't know, uh, oh, a friend, a friend from the Masons. I'm an honorary California Freemason for oh. life. Wow. I'm a life member. I, I'm not a Mason as a person. Is there a secret handshake? Not, but I went through a whole bunch of things because my wife at the time was an Eastern star, and then we could have more joint time together. Is there, see, there, there are secret words you have to learn that I have no idea what... The, I can you can never remember them. It's very difficult. And you go up three levels, you're a mason for life, and you, everyone goes up to thirty three levels. Not me. I dropped out because we got divorced. Yeah, and you, you probably played some tricks on them. Too. But we were at, we were at the the restaurant yesterday, the old spaghetti factory. They they brought out pepper, and I did the old the standard thing, or maybe it was the night before somewhere. And I said, of course. And then that's fine. <laughs> and whoever it was, it was, at, it was actually at the Grill on the Alley Steakhouse, it's and they so were good. they were actually kind of pleased with the, <laughs> the joke. <laughs> I'm it's sure. fantastic, and because I do like coarse pepper, you know, that's and fine. When I said of course, of course, she unscrewed it to make it coarse. She realized <laughs> great. She realized it was more than just saying, a, yeah, sure. Wow. Yeah, I, love it. So. I mean, I, I got to say that every time I've ever gotten together with you has just been the most fantastic experience. <laughs> I value our friendship beyond measure yes and i this i the same absolutely yeah, it's I, uh, I'm, I'm a person that makes very very few friends in my life you know every two years i might make another one <clears throat> that'll be a long-term friend continually it's very rare yeah well so, I'm, you're, I'm, you're in there you're the one <laughs> i'm absolutely beyond grateful for you and yeah. uh and and this time like like always was very special and the fact that we were able to record it and share it with the world is even more so, so yeah. thank you. The key people in my life are creative people and also especially comedians, uh, magicians. And the, <laughs> and the fact that you came to my bucket list show and, and actually made it through to the end, I, I, I... Oh, no, no, I understand comedy. I was not against that. I was not disfavorable. <laughs> that's what you That's what you do, that's your business. Oh, right. no, no, I understood it. I told Julie that she, she said that you thought that somehow I was offended by it. No, no, I was just scared that you were gonna see the things that I show at my bucket list. <laughs> oh, you gave me some, no, we, we took out some really straight friends and I started describing exactly what you'd done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow, man, I, I love okay. you, Steve, and uh, thank you for that. This. Really love you. love you. Looking forward uh, to the next time. Oh, is there anything that we can promote for you? Do you want to send any traffic anywhere? I I never do. I never try to promote myself so. or anything. He's like yeah. world peace. <laughs> yeah, world peace. I probably did uh, rescue oh. rescue a dog and world oh peace. that mask. Where'd that face mask go? The uh, selfie mask. Um, maskalike.com makes the best ones. I don't get anything to them. Mask alike. Maskalike. Don't make a mask that looks like your face. That looks like your face. Uh -huh. You can also buy ones that look like dogs and stuff. Sure. I have some of those. I want a Steve Wozniak mask. Okay, yeah, that's upside that's down. It. Oh well, that would be a Steve Wozniak mask if it were right side up. <laughs> I get that. And I've ordered a alike.com. Yeah, yeah, I think a couple more are getting delivered to our house in a day or two. I love it. It's fantastic. It wears out. Yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> and I've only been wearing it for like three weeks. Good. But every every single place. People say, Oh, I like your mask. Yeah. <laughs> well, you said it. Okay. Well, bless you, Steve, and, and th thank you so much for this. 
Yeah. So it's Everybody not go, a, go get something at Masked Light. We've got to drive our dogs com. home now. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. America. If you thought Jackass Forever was crazy, oh boy, do I have a show for you. It's a multimedia comedy show called The Bucket List Tour. And the stuff I filmed for this show is way too hot for jackass. Like the general anesthesia bike ride, the vasectomy Olympics, and skyjacking. The footage is so intense, we have full grown men passing out at almost every city this bus goes to. So if you think you can handle it, get your tickets right now at stevo.com. Yeah.